Welcome to WebEDU. In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to use WebEDU's Parallax animation feature in order to create beautiful Parallax websites. In the WebEDU Studio, you can set scrolling animations to achieve amazing Parallax animation effects on any kind of element you want, including shapes, images, text, galleries, animated GIFs, forms, widgets, and more. I will demonstrate the animation options through this website and show you how intuitive it can be to use this powerful animation feature. The parallax animation movement is enabled by the browser's scroll bar and it starts only when you start scrolling down the site. In this website, I've also created a fixed position upper menu bar and logo, a side menu which was set up with anchor links and the parallax animation options. Later on I'll show you how to set that up as well. So, let's start with a basic scrolling animation. Insert a new image element and upload an image. Right click on the image and choose Add Parallax Animation. The image surrounded by a black bounding box shows the starting position of the animation and the turquoise box shows the target position of the motion path where it will be situated after the animation ends. You can place these points on the canvas easily, wherever you want. The black line above represents the animation starting line. Once the user scrolls past the animation starting line, the element begins its motion. You can change the position of the animation starting line by dragging it to the exact place you want, just as you can with dividers and guides. On the right properties panel, you can determine the motion speed of the animation. You can increase or decrease the speed per scroll. You can set a transition like rotate, fade in or fade out. And add a new animation path to the element. You can set a different motion speed and transition for each path and by doing so create more complex and unique animations for your website. Let's preview the animation. Now, let's go back to the studio and change this image with an animated GIF. Reposition it behind the model and set an animation, so it will look like this bird is flying in a more realistic way. Great! Let's see how the animation looks now. Your work will have an impressive and smooth effect when you move and change several elements at the same time. Take another look at the animations of these different elements. Now you'll learn how I did these animations using the features we have just talked about. The background animation starts down from here and ends here in the middle of the frame. The motion speed is 2.5 times per scroll and the transition is set to fade in to create a smoother entrance. The animation will start once I scroll down past this animation start line. The model on the left has a fade in transition as well, but she stays in her place since the animation start and end points are located in the same place. That's why you see the turquoise bounding box placed exactly on top of the black bounding box, like this. The same goes for this visit our shop text element. And for this white star, I have set a rotation transition to enrich the overall animation feel. As for the summer collection text, for each letter I set a fade in transition and a different horizontal movement length so the letters pop out from the centre and align perfectly to create this phrase. It's very easy to use the layers window in order to choose a layer. Use the command L shortcut to open and close it or find it under the view section. Now. Take a look at this bird that jumps up a little and lands on this white line so precisely. This is what I call a pixel perfect parallax animation. This feature allows you to do super precise work. This motion was created using two motion paths. The first is set to fade in transition and the second is set to normal. If you would like the bird to start its animation later, 
simply drag down the animation start line and relocate it. Great! Now let's learn how to transform an element to a different one in the middle of an animation. Look how these icons move while changing to these photos. To do this trick, use two elements of the same size. Create a path for the first element so as it moves, it is positioned on top of the second element. At the cross point, add a new motion path and set the transition to fade out. Now, choose the second element and also at the same cross point, set the transition to fade in. Play a bit with the animation speed and the animation start line to ensure a smooth transition between these two elements at the point they cross each other. As I mentioned before, you can set a parallax animation for every element on the canvas, like this gallery, widget map and form. Remember to check your parallax website on different devices, especially parallax elements positioned at the bottom of the page. Since different devices have different height dimensions, your animation timing will be displayed a bit differently. You can make timing corrections easily by repositioning the animation start line. The left menu is built as an anchor link menu. Each of these buttons links to a different element, each with its own location on the page, so every button click directs you to a specific place on the page. Also, all the buttons are set as pin position elements, so they stay in the same location on the page, not influenced by the scrolling action. As for the stars showing which button is selected, they are simply images located behind the buttons and appear only when the page is scrolled to the right place. And that's all you need to know in order to create your own parallax websites. You can check out more tutorials in the Webidoo Academy video lessons. For any questions, we're always here to help.